If you've got a hard earned bonus check just burning a hole in your pocket and you want the most comfortable and luxurious BMW money can buy, you're probably going to end up with a 7 Series. But what if you also want something that'll light your hair on fire on a back road? That's going to be this guy right here, the BMW Alpina B7. Alpina has been tuning BMWs for decades now and this is the ultimate BMW 7 Series that you can buy right now. Well, sort of, kind of, because BMW has their own, but we're going to talk a little bit about that later. I've borrowed this very beautiful green example here at TestFest. It's an event where I get to drive all of the latest and greatest BMW Mini and Rolls Royce models, and I have quickly discovered that the Alpina B7 might be atop my favorites of the entire BMW Pantheon right now. We're going to first check out the interior because boy oh boy is it stunning. You're going to notice on the outside you've got these gorgeous Alpina wheels. This color is fantastic. I don't think you can get that on a normal 7 Series and you've got some other distinguishing touches to set it apart on the outside, but trust me, it's on the inside where this thing really makes you feel like a king. And before we check out the interior and get it out on the road, be sure to click the link in the description below to get the best deals on the 2020 BMW Alpina B7. All right, so we're underway in the Alpina B7. So I can explain what this car is just a little bit. It's a 7 Series, but it is probably the best performing 7 Series you're going to get. You can also opt for BMW's M760 Li. That one's going to have a V12 engine, which you might just assume is better. BMW uh, uses the twin-turbo V12, but Alpina chooses instead to use this 4.4-liter twin-turbo V8, but the two are very comparable on power. This one produces six 100 horsepower, yep, 600 horsepower in a super luxury sedan, 590 foot pounds of torque, and that's good enough to rocket this car to 60 in just three and a half seconds. And that speedometer reads over 200 because this car will do 205 miles an hour. And this is my first time driving an Alpina tuned BMW, and they've been making BMWs feel special for decades. And from behind the wheel, this just feels more special to me than any 7 Series I've ever driven and even more special than some of the M cars. And it's just a different philosophy used to make this car because right now I am sitting in one of the softest and most comfortable seats on any car, not just BMW. I'm holding this lovely leather steering wheel, looking at some of the best uh, handmade wood I've ever seen. There's tons of technology in here. These gauges are really cool. I'm getting a back massage while I'm doing all of this. You don't get this level of comfort in an M car, but now if I go ahead and put it in sport mode, it becomes an Alpina. Oh, it's so quick. It's, it, the power goes down so smoothly. It makes such a good noise, but it's not in your face. And even in sport mode over some of the rougher bumps, it floats over everything. And it's still an absolute bank vault in here. It's so quiet. I can't even hear the outside world around me. I am just one with the machine. The steering feels accurate. I'm sure Alpina did some of their own tuning on this car. And when you combo the fact that this is just one of the best looking 7 Series cars, I think this is better than BMW's M Sport version. Those wheels are gorgeous. This green color is gorgeous. This interior with the leather and the woods and the materials is gorgeous. I'm going to say it. I think this might be my favorite BMW on sale today. Favorite non-M car. I mean, the M2 is a very different car than this, but if you just have the money, this is over 200 grand, this is the BMW I think you should get. If you just want sumptuous luxury, but you want that sporty drive as well, this does it. This does it without sacrificing at all on some of the best luxury in one of the best luxury cars you can get. In here, you're going to feel 
like you are in a special place. Alpina has designed this wonderful, gorgeous cabin. You're gonna quickly notice, I'm sure there's other options as well, but this wood, it's sort of got like a cherry finish to it. Absolutely fantastic. You've got this nice plaque that says BMW Alpina B7, um, and it's got Burkhard Bovenstein. He's uh, one of the head guys over there at Alpina. I was able to meet Andreas Bovenstein at a previous uh, BMW event, and it just feels like all of the materials here are nice and metallic. You've got this lovely, you can see on the seats, white leather, which is beautiful. The steering wheel is wrapped in in a black leather, but you have green and blue stitching because of course those are the signature Alpina colors. And then even though we no longer have physical gauges on this car, it's all just a screen, Alpina has given its own tune. So you have sort of like a blue hue and like the underlines are green. Really the cabin just feels spectacular. And that's just the front seat. When you come back here, of course, all you have to do is bring the door close to a close and the soft close will do the rest. This might be one of the back seats I've ever had the chance to experience. I've got my own sunroof back here. I've got sunshades on everything, but the way that you control them is interesting. If I push this little eject button here on the center console, it is going to give me this nice little tablet. It's a Samsung tablet. It looks just like the one you'd be able to buy, but unlike the one you'd be able to buy at a store, I can go into the seat settings and I can turn on my seat massage, that's pretty cool. I can go to sun protection, that's a setting here, and I can go ahead and close that sun blind or this sun blind, or I can close the rear blind behind me so I don't have to let the sun beat down on me. Plus, in addition to all of that and the massage, I also can slide these seats forward electronically so I can have a nice recline going back here and my legs are not even close to touching that front seat in my driving position. This car is absolutely massive. I have pillows on the back of my headrests. I can just take a nap back here. If you've got the money to buy this car, I highly recommend doing it. For whatever reason, the Alpina models depreciate quite heavily, so you do have to watch that. But this car from the inside just feels every bit of its price, which is quite a lot, which is what we're about to talk about. There's really no such thing as a cheap BMW 7 Series, and this one is no different because it sits atop the 7 Series lineup. This one's gonna start at $143,000. The one we have tested here is about $153,000, so not too bad on the options there. Yes, it's a lot of money. Yes, you'll probably lose a lot of it in depreciation, but if you wanna have the most special super sedan on the market, I think this sits atop. It is one of the most special cars on the market today, and it just feels that extra extra bit more unique than the AMGs and even the M's of the world. And I definitely recommend that you give one of these a shot. Guaranteed, you'll be the only one that has one on your street. I hope you've enjoyed this video. See you next time.